Your Kansas City Chiefs are back in the AFC title game for a sixth consecutive year, quickly earning cred as the NFL's new dynasty. Chiefs Kingdom went crazy last week as Kansas City kept his playoff hopes alive, taking down Josh Allen and the Bills. This game had Chiefs Kingdom and Bills Mafia on the edge of their seats. A missed field goal helped cement the win, and now it's on to Baltimore. It'll be a great challenge for our defense, but also a great challenge for our offense going against their defense. So uh, it's going to take a, a full team effort if we want to find a way to get a win. You get to this level of football. All the games are at the highest level that you can possibly be. You got superstar quarterbacks, you got superstar tight ends, you got skill talent across the board. The offensive lines are all physical and aggressive. Defenses are good. Um, but this is exactly what we want as competitors. Today, the Chiefs go toe to toe with the number one seed in the AFC, led by the guy who's likely to be the league's most valuable player. Quarterback Lamar Jackson's been playing lights out this year with nearly 3,700 passing yards this season, 821 yards on the ground. We'll get to that in a second. He's thrown 24 touchdowns with just seven interceptions in the season. The Chiefs' Patrick Mahomes, meanwhile, has fewer rushing yards but threw for more than 4,100. He has more passing touchdowns with 27, but twice as many interceptions as Jackson. His passer rating, while still high, is also the worst of his career as a starter. Of course, it takes a whole team to get the job done, as we saw last week in Buffalo. So can the Chiefs get to the Super Bowl again? Let's bring in another member of our team, KNBC 9 Sports Director Len Jennings, who's traveling with the Chiefs. Happy game day, Len. I know you know, and the Chiefs know, they have to fire on all cylinders today against the Ravens. 100%. I mean, this is one of the best teams in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens. They have a top-notch offense led by Lamar Jackson. And, of course, they have a spectacular defense as well. So the Chiefs have a tough challenge coming in on both sides of the ball later on today. But uh, the Chiefs have been proving uh, the last few weeks that they've been up to the challenge. Buffalo Bills, they were a good football team with the Chiefs got out of Buffalo with a win last week. We saw Patrick Mahomes kind of relish this label of villain against the Bills, right? Going to someone <laughs> else's home turf and just messing up their day. Uh, it seemed to work for him in enemy territory. So should we expect some more of that today? The good thing about this Chiefs football program is they're moving in the right direction. Uh, we saw this team against the Cincinnati Bengals without Joe Burrow, but they really moved the ball. The offense moved the ball, and they did very well. One of the things that they were working on was trying to get red zone efficiency. It just wasn't up to par. Then they played the Miami Dolphins. The offense seemed to be moving the ball a lot better. They still had some red zone issues. And then last week we saw what the Chiefs were able to do against the Buffalo Bills. The Chiefs were able. Patrick Mahomes, great drives. He had Marquez Valdez Scanlon catching balls. We haven't seen that for most of the season. Not many drop passes, so they seem to eliminate those mistakes. Uh, but they got three straight drives in a row where they scored a touchdown. Field goals are good, but touchdowns are much better. So that's something that the Chiefs are going to have to do later on today against this Ravens defense. Right, we've seen Butker carry the team, but we hope it doesn't come to that. How critical is it that the Chiefs offensive line step up today? Oh, 100%, because they have a huge, huge challenge. But the offensive line has been doing it all season long for Patrick Mahomes and protecting him. The biggest challenge, for I think, for the Chiefs coming into this game is taking advantage of opportunities that the Baltimore Ravens present. And you may not get many of them. And I'll point out against the Bills game, the Chiefs had other opportunities to just kind of overtake this football game, and they didn't. There was a drop ball for a pass where they could have intercepted Josh Allen. Josh Allen fumbled the ball, and the Chiefs had an opportunity to recover it, and they didn't. And then, of course, they got the big fourth down stop on the fake punt. Isaiah Pacheco rushed it for about 30 yards inside the five-yard line, and the next play, McCole Hardman fumbles it at the goal line. Those are some of the things where the Chiefs cannot afford to do later on today. If the Ravens give them an opportunity to take advantage of something, the Chiefs have to pounce on that because this team is just way too good on both sides of the ball. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about the Chiefs defense. Of course, it's one of the top in the league this season. Uh, really has its work cut out for him today, especially against a running quarterback like Lamar Jackson. Uh, tell me a little bit about this threat. And that they did beat Josh Allen last week. He was also good on his feet. Well, you know, if you saw Josh Allen go in the first half, he was having his way with the Chiefs defense. What makes this Chiefs defense so good is their ability to adapt. That's what Steve Spagnuolo does best, and that's what this Chiefs defense did the best. And it was interesting because after the game, I talked to George Karloftis and Chris Jones about what Spag said. He didn't really have to say much. It was the team itself. This team is very close on the defensive side of the ball from the backfield to the uh, defensive line. They all work as a unit, and they've been doing it all season long. So coming into this game, that's what's going to be huge. Lamar Jackson is probably going to have his day running. He's probably going to have his day throwing. But the Chiefs defense has the ability to stop them or get some key stops 
Uh, what they've been doing really well, the Chiefs defense, is third down, stopping teams at third down. They did it well against the Bills. They did it really well against the Miami Dolphins a couple of weeks ago. So they know that Lamar Jackson is going to run the ball. They have to find a way to contain him, but they also know that he can throw the ball. So it's a tough challenge for this defense later today. Real quick, is this going to be a low-scoring game or an offensive blowout? You know, <laughs> if you look at this, the, Chief, the, the Ravens, if it's a high-scoring game, you know, it's going to be tough for the Chiefs to match the Baltimore Ravens. They put 56 points up against the Dolphins when they played their final regular season game with starters uh, at the end of the year. So 56 points against the Dolphins uh, is uh, not easy to do. So the Chiefs have to stop this Ravens offense. I don't know if it's going to be a low-scoring game, but I think the Chiefs, they hope it is a low-scoring game because if the Chiefs offense could get going and get a few points and get a few stops at defense, of course, the Chiefs have a great chance of winning later today. All right, fingers crossed. Sports Director Len Jennings, good luck today. Thanks for taking the time this morning. Don't miss our coverage from Baltimore. Len and our Laura Moritz are there, and we'll bring you special postgame reports on KMBC 9 News. Kickoff from M&T Bank Stadium is at 2 this afternoon.